Hi everyone, it's Billy Kirkwood here with Jen Louise and it's bank holiday weekend this weekend and we've got two nights of insane championship wrestling action with King of Honours. Sunday night and Monday night, we're going to tell you you can get tickets uh, but first of all let's go through what we've got on this weekend. Uh, first of all let's go to night one which is the Sunday, kicks off half six at the garage in Glasgow. Let's go through some of the teams on King of Honours. Uh, who have we got Jen? We've got Bad Company and the Dallas Mavericks going up against each other. So this could be this is going to be a massive one. I think this is going to be amazing. Yeah. These these teams, there's a lot of bad blood between them. Uh, my boy Kez Evans, I think, is looking to make a name for himself. Certainly, but bad company. They, you know, they are they the sort of forgotten team of ICW in terms of like you know, there's no championships. Uh, BT mm. Gun had a horrendous 2018. Uh, we're looking to turn things around this oh, year. Well, this is it. It could be the fuel that feeds them in it, this match. So you never know. Right, we're also going to see the in-ring debut of the entire mm -hmm. of the anti-fun police. They are going to be taking on the Sinky Party. Yay! And uh, like, they, like Jack Jester and Shah Samuels were pretty much an odd couple already. It was like, you know, it was like... It was beautiful. Ball gags and jelly. It's odd, but it kind of works. They, but now they've added Liam <laughs> Thompson. <laughs> Liam Thompson, right? So now it all happens in a sink. The big <laughs> issue battler. Uh, they're going to be teaming up. You know something? It looked like it might have been too much of an odd coupling. It might just not work out. But recently we saw them on uh, ICW Fight Club and I don't know, it looks like it's I gonna... think it's, yeah, there's definitely, there's that much. Uh, they're, a, they're a motley crew, to say the least. And sometimes that works. Right, and then next up, this, an all... Irish affair. We have got the Kings of the North returning to ICW. Uh, they haven't actually wrestled in ICW. I think we're going on 18 months, I think, nearly two years. Mm -hmm. They're looking to get back into many ways. And there's also the return of, I know, a young team that you're very fond of, More Than Hype. <laughs> They are really creating a name for themselves. They are three super talented young wrestlers and I'm super excited to see them yeah, for indeed. professional yeah, reasons. Yeah, yeah, indeed. <laughs> then there is going to be one of the other favourite teams. It's going to be the Wild Boys, the Stovey Superman, teaming up with Shotgun, Kieran Kelly, uh, and of course, the King of Benidorm, uh, Aaron Echo. And they are going to be taking on the mysterious mm. team of Power yeah. Forward. Nobody knows the identity of the guys. No. There is an alliance with Mark Coffey, and that's all we've got. only be a good thing. The, only be a good they're thing. They're the wild card team. Mm. So it'll be interesting to see what they've got to bring to it. All right, what else have we got on uh, night one? Night one, there's still so much more. Yeah, happening we've got one? Jody Fleisch and Johnny Storm, a legendary tag team in UK professional wrestling. They've wrestled all around the world, making only their second ever appearance in ICW. That's so this is a special attraction match. Mm -hmm. Last time they were here was actually in London and they beat the Sumerian Death Squad. Whatever happened to them? Uh, and of course, they are taking on the 9-9, featuring handsome Jack Morris and very much Mr. Hyde. Dickie Divers. Oh, he's handsome. He's a handsome boy. Of course he is. Yes. I didn't say he wasn't. He's a guy called Mr. Hyde at the end of my street. He's a male model. He's a complete shy guy. Yeah. Oh. Who do you think I was talking about? Mm. <laughs> Next up, Joe Coffey, the Iron King, will be returning to ICW and he will be taking on Josh Terry. Now, it's been a while since we've seen these two oh. and you know something? Josh Terry is a, it's a bit of a tank himself. Uh, he's going to be taking on uh, Joe Coffey in one-on-one -on -one action. I don't know. This, this, again, is another attraction match. This is a match that other promoters all around the country have struggled to yeah. sign, but we've managed to make it happen in night one. It's definitely worth going to see. Uh, what else have we got? We've also got Viper and the debut of Anastasia. Yes. So this will be amazing as what well. What do you know about Anastasia? Not a lot, but I have heard a lot of rumblings. She's definitely making a name for herself in Scottish wrestling. In fact, around the UK. So yeah. I'm so super excited to see big, what she's got. Big, mad Viper. It's going to be good entertainment. <laughs> I was going to say, she's going straight up against Viper in a debut. Big Mad Viper. Says a lot. Viper smash. <laughs> Viper bite. That's how it works. Uh, I understand those, those <laughs> the family motto, the emblem. I've seen it. Uh, let's see. Rampage Brown. Uh, of course, he is getting... No one has ever made that noise. I love Rampage. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> Are you seriously? Uh-huh. Hey, the boy terrifies the absolute living piss out of me. He is big. He, Rampage Brown. He's we are not talking about Detective <laughs> Pikachu. We are talking about a big, ferocious, walking nightmare. He's the number one contender to the ICW World Heavyweight title. He requested a tuna match, and the poor bastard that's going to be taking on is Paxo. Now, Paxo has been looking great recently in yes. ICW, kind of finding his feet, not quite mm-hmm. there yet. Yeah. So he's looking to make a name for himself, but going up against Big Rampage Brown, is this a trip to the Dignitas Clinic for Paxo? I'm not sure this uh, might be a one-way ticket to absolutely getting fucking inoculated. Stranger things have happened. Who knows? Then we are going to see, and this is going to be a uh, great. We've sort of got a do-over. Uh, Red Lightning or Rudo Lightning, I should say. We're mm-hmm. updating it for 2019. Uh, previously, he was due to get some airtime on ICW yeah. Fight Club with Rudo Uncensored, but now, of course. That got interrupted. So we're going to try it again. We have yet to be informed who his guest is. Uh, so you make sure to turn that because anything can happen when Rudal Lightning any, has that uh, mic. Any thinkings of who you think it could be? I don't want to say exactly who it could be. Mm. But all I've got to say is it rhymes with Baradonna. Maradona? No, it was Madonna, but I kind of want to ask Oh. It wouldn't be Maradona. I don't yes, understand. I don't really understand football. <laughs> uh, it's also going to be Jon Snow. Fucking get over yourself, Game of Thrones fans, you fucking children. I always think of Jon Snow as the news presenter, but anyway. You said a lot more about yourself than you were planning to. <laughs> right. <laughs> Before we get on tonight, too, you can get your tickets. Right, how do you go about doing that? You can get tickets for both nights. You can get a two-night ticket. And why would you not want right. to? It's a bank holiday weekend. Exactly. Come join us on the first night. See who's qualifying for the King of Honours. And, of course, then you get to see all the matches on the run-up tonight, too. You can get your tickets from, I believe, Ticket Scotland. You can get them from ticketmaster.co.uk. And if you want any more information on how you can get tickets for either single-night tickets or both nights, but come on. Let's get our party going straight exactly. through. You wouldn't want to see, you wouldn't want to see like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a two-part movie. You wouldn't want to see Back to the Future 2, let's see Back to the Future 3. Who doesn't want to go back to the Wild West? Eh? What happened to Doc Brown? You've got to worry about these things. Don't be an arsehole. Get your fucking tickets to both nights. Let's go on to night two. Jen, Wait. this is one of the big ones. The yes. one we want to talk about first of all, regardless of the result on night one, Rampage Brown will be challenging Lionheart for the ICW World Heavyweight title. Now, back when Lionheart won the title last year, he said that he would only be taking on world class competitors, mm-hmm. wouldn't be jobs for the boys, it wouldn't just be, uh, there'd be no such thing as house shows or what no. having the trade. Every match was going to be something, every defence was going to have something. He wanted to carry on the lineage of the World Heavyweight heavyweight title that we come here in ICW make it a real world class caliber right. championship which it is you can think of the people he's taking on Shigehiro Iri uh, God so many and Helico mm-hmm. uh, but now he's taking on Big Rampage Brown who unbelievably has never won a world heavyweight singles title crazy when you think about it uh, now he has been part of the POD of course mm-hmm. and still is part of the POD uh, now the manager of champions the wee man is there in his corner. And I know that the wee man aggressively campaigned to get Rampage mm-hmm. Brown an ICW World Heavyweight title match. It was shunned by the championship committee, so they reached out and they took the title opportunity. Which is what the POD do best. Yeah, but Lionheart, you know something, has been outstanding oh. as heavyweight champion. Uh, he's taken on all challenges and didn't back down from this no, one. No, exactly. And it's uh, been so true to form. Everything he has said about delivering world-class matches, he has done so far. Yep. So there's no reason this will be any different. So will it be Lion Strong or will it be Rampage Brown running rough shot in a new world heavyweight? We saw Did that image... Mean? Of him holding up that title belt, and I gotta say, he's, he's your yes. guy. It uh, looked pretty. Uh, I looked good. Kings of Catch. Uh, uh, they are yes. going to be taking on the Fight Network. Now, mm-hmm. talking about people uh, angling for championships, I I love the Kings of Catch. Yeah. Right, they are a homegrown here in ICW. Absolutely. Lewis Garvin, Aspen Faith, they've gone all the way to the championship, exactly. and what was one of the I think greatest stories uh-huh. at the start of 2019. It's emotional. It was. It certainly was. Really emotional. But another team to look at is uh, is looking sharp and Cra- Krieger. Who've always been about. Always looking for an opportunity. I, I've been outstanding. They've won championships mm-hmm. all around the country. They feel like they've never been respected. But mm-hmm. uh, New Jock and Scud Master Sexy, they are looking to get in. Ch- <laughs> and they've got this opportunity. I, I, I can't pick someone because I think there's. I the- think I think I think Krieger's adorable. Well, he is. I agree, but there's definitely a chip on their shoulder. So 
What? Yeah, they've got a lot to prove and they are going to be out to prove it. And the on thing YouTube. is, uh, speaking to uh, you know the sort of fans podcast mm. and seeing all the reaction, yeah. lots of people thinking it's a foreground conclusion. Trust me, look at the body mm. of work of the Fight Network. Look at where they've trained from, look at where they've fought from. They've been travelling uh, all over. I, this is going to be two hungry young teams. Yep. Young teams, this is one you're not going to want to miss for the ICW Tag Team Championship. All right, yep. then we've got the ICW Women's Title on the line. This is going to be amazing. Kaylee Ray will face Evil for a title match, and this is it's going to be crazy. Um, Kaylee Ray, she has been an amazing champion so far, but Evil, she's well, a dark horse, and yep. she has really proved herself recently. Well, and listen, the, the queen of hardcore, the Cleopatra of chaos, that is Kaylee Ray, she's not going to go down quietly. She's oh, been no. making names internationally. Again, you want to talk about in terms of Lionheart, these fighting champions we have here on ICW. She's taking on all comers, but, but Evil does she occupy some space? straight into your head, and can Kaylee, if Kaylee Ray brings it, but, you know, if Evil gets right into her head... Who, know. who knows? Who knows? I don't know. It's going to be a great one. Right. Uh, we've also got a, a couple more matches as yes. well. Uh, we've got Wolf... The first time ever on ICW. So super looking we've forward to this. We've got two WWE UK NXT stars. Huge stars. But of course, Wolfgang, homegrown. Okay. Yeah, okay. He's one. He's a, a former world heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. And he has taken on Primate. Now, we've only ever seen Primate in tag team action mm -hmm. here. Uh, but he's been turning heads since he had his renaissance after his, yes, after his jaw uh, surgery. Uh, and you know yeah. something? These two big silverbacks, it's like... Well, this is it. It's going oh, to just be brutal, I think. Only one can occupy the space. Only one can occupy the space. And Primate has said he is coming into ICW to take Wolfgang's spot as the big franchise. And then we've got a showcase match. It's going to be Kenny Williams versus Ryan Griffin. Now, Kenny Williams uh, says he's here to save ICW. Yeah. And the former ICW Zero G Championship icon could be doing that. He's want to get rid of the trainees. It says he's going to be world-class Class. caliber talents like him. Mm, he's been offended. By, he's been like, offended by the mere idea of uh, some members coming into the locker room. Not showing him the respect right. he feels mm. he deserves. Uh, not only uh, in the ring, outside of the ring over the barrier really really been sticking it hard to the fans uh, sticking it hard to the ring crew I mean he turns up with an entourage uh, awesome. listen this is going to be I'll be there in two minutes uh, <laughs> so he's, and he's going to be taking on Ryan Griffin now Ryan has uh, he's won championships mm -hmm. across Scotland looking to get into ICW he's one of the up and coming talents that's part of the reason he's here part of this new talent yeah. initiative that's getting brought in uh, and it just is no no coincidence that he's going it's up going against, against Kenny Williams. Exactly, that will not sit well with Kenny. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting one because it's, yeah. And of course, on night two, we're going to find out who is the winner of the King of Honours. Now, it's been shredded in mystery. There's been a lot of excitement. But what exactly is the King of Honours Championship? Let us show you. All right. Uh, Monday night, we are going to find out who is the King of Honours winners, but we're also going to find out what they win. Well, what the winning team are going to be taking home, first of all, is under this. Can we? It's time for the grand <laughs> unveiling. Are we ready? One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! You don't get that at BBs. Hey, your granddad's never getting buried in that. Ow! Right, this is the King of Honours trophy. The winning team, the three men that take it, will get this home. But this comes with one very special thing. The winning team will get a championship opportunity. Now, the way it works is it could be a singles title opportunity. It could be a tag team title opportunity. You only get one. And that throws everything up in the air because it's three men. So let's say it's the Wild Boys, for example. Kieran Kelly and Andy Wild could challenge for the ICW Tag Team Championship. That means that's the opportunity gone. Or maybe they'll give it to Aaron Echo, who could challenge for the Zero G or World Heavyweight title. Maybe Andy Wild wants to show the World Heavyweight title. I mean, that's three men that are prominent, prominently singles competitors, yeah. right? Teaming up with a three team. But then you think of something like the Kings of the North. Yes. Right? So let's say they win. Maybe Adam, uh, maybe Adam, he's going to go for the World Heavyweight title. Maybe he wants a shot at tag team. Maybe he wants a shot at tag team titles. Maybe Corvin wants a shot at a tie. Who knows? These are questions that only the winning team will find out. And you'll only find out who the winning team are if you come and check out King of Honours. 
two night event this weekend. Now you can get tickets for both nights. A two night ticket, you get a ticket master, get a ticket in Scotland. You can also get single night tickets, but why not make a whole yeah. weekend of it? Come and join us this weekend at King of Horrors. Get your tickets right now. All the information, of course, is over at insanewrestling.co.uk and make sure to keep following us on social media right up to the event to get all the up-to-date details. Me and Jen are gonna see you on Sunday.